This is a Pentium 4, a modern one. It shows up like this on the PROS CPU in full file. It says 2.6 GHz <coughs> and 512 kilobytes of cache. And it has hyper-threading, so it tells me it has two processors, although that's not really true. It can run two threads simultaneously, but they don't get full resources if the code is written to really use all the parallelism that there is in a Pentium 4. Down here is a card from NVIDIA. And if I run NVIDIA Detect, I can see it is a GeForce GT610. And I will compare uh, this card to the performance of the Pentium 4 CPU. Linrod 04.13 has support for OpenCL uh, to use CL FFT on the graphics card. And I can test performance with the special routine to press number key number 6 here. And the result comes on the text screen here. And uh, it reports 95 gigaflops for this device. Uh, the GeForce GT610. The hardware I'm running is a Soft66 RTL. It's an RTL SDR with an up converter. Moral imperfections I have set the sampling rate to 2 MHz, which you can see here. And the CPU load in total is 37%. Uh, and one of the threads is using up 33%. It's the wideband processing thread doing the first FFT. And I have set the parameters for doing the FFT in a single thread. I can change that and make it run in two threads for the bulk of work and having the power computation in a separate thread from those. Like that. And then you can see the load is a little bit less and if I click on this it is strong station you will find a real Chinaman of the old school uh, even of the low so this looks type, very good who is positively and, repulsive uh, it is the fastest of the FFT implementations on the uh, Pentium 4 on the x86 architecture it's decimation in time using the single instruction multiple data and it's done uh, uh, two in parallel with each call to the FFT routine. Now I switch to the graphics card, that's number five, CLFFT with OpenCL. And <clears throat> that's not as good. If I click on the station, I don't remember which one it was, maybe here. And we can hear it doesn't work correct. Looking for the time, you can see it's only putting out about 25 kilohertz. So it's losing a lot of the data because the GPU is not fast enough. Now uh, I have set a FFT size of 16 uh, kilobytes. I can make the bandwidth smaller, let's say 
60 hertz to get a bigger FFT size well even bigger than that 30 uh, this will fit the GPU better it will not work at all with the Pentium 4 instructions because I have not allowed such a big transform there procedures aimed at the transformation and structural adjustment of its unit and you can hear now, since the transforms are longer, the hacking of the sound is slower. And, but we can still not get more than 30 kilohertz out of the sound card. And now there was an error which will not be recovered. Now I'm running on a computer with an Intel Core 2 CPU running at 1.86 MHz. It has 2 MB of cache and 2 cores and they are of course identical. Uh, in the computer I have two graphics adapters, the GeForce 6200 LE and the GeForce GT 610 and this is the old card the 6200 LE and this is the GT uh, 610 the Linrad speed test reports 92 gigaflops here that's actually a little less than I saw when running the card in the Pentium 4. Only one card is found, that's the GT610. The other card is too old and I don't know exactly why it doesn't work. I have installed the drivers for it. Here Linrad is running uh, with the same parameters that I had on the Pentium 4, 2 MHz sampling rate and the CPU load is 18%, 12% in the uh, most loaded thread, I mean that's 12% of a fully loaded core, so, but the 18% is the sum of all cores. And the parameters are, as you can see here, uh, the FFT size is now bigger because there is more cache memory in this, these more modern cores. Uh, now I go for the uh, graphics adapter, that's number 5. And you can see platform 0 and device number 0 and it says 92 gigaflops. And I can only use batch size 1. And it's very similar to what I saw on the Pentium 4. Mm -hmm. Now I got it running and I press T and you can see it gets only 25 kilohertz for the output rate and that's similar to what I saw in the Pentium 4. It means the CPU power of this uh, 610 graphics adapter it is not as good as a modern Pentium 4 and certainly not good at all as compared with this Core 2 which is already a fairly old uh, computer. This is a computer with a Pentium 3. Here the GT610 uh, should make performance much better 
But as it turns out, uh, the card is not detected. Uh, probably it requires uh, instructions that the Pentium 3 doesn't have, or more memory, or something. Anyway, uh, the card cannot be detected and I cannot find it useful on the Pentium 3. Only the old VGA card is detected, but uh, there is no driver for it, and probably performance would be useless. So the conclusion is the GT610, uh, when using CLFFT and OCL, uh, does not give any advantage on any system.